What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future. Hey, before we get started today, I wanna to remind you guys that we have a huge Rumpel giveaway going on. So all you have to do to win is subscribe, and every time you like or comment on one of our videos, you'll get extra entries to win, but you definitely want a piece of this awesome Rumpel box full of $400 worth of goodies, and we'll announce the winner as soon as we hit 15,000 subscribers. So make sure you jump into that and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, so we're back today with another new subscription, and this one may just take the cake for the largest subscription box that we've ever had in the channel, at least by volume. This is Brio Box, so I actually have to get another shot of this box just so you can get a sense of how big this thing is. It's probably about a foot wide by a foot tall. Uh, seems like it's packed full of good stuff, has a good heft to it and everything. If you're unfamiliar with Brio Box, this is a quarterly subscription that's supposed to be chock full of really cool gadgets. Gadgets for home, kitchen stuff, all sorts of things. This actually looks like a really cool subscription box for couples or for your wife or for husbands or whatever else. Uh, looks like a lot of fun. Each quarter is supposed to have a box full of five to eight different goodies. Uh, the boxes range about uh, $159 if you're just doing a one-off box, or you can get them for a little bit cheaper if you order by the year. So this is our very first Brio box. This is for spring 2022. So let's open this thing up and check it out. And it's gonna be actually hard to get it open under the camera here, so bear with me. It's got this cool flap just so you can see it where you kind of slide this open here. But I'm gonna open this and we'll take a look at what's inside. It actually came inside of a bigger box earlier. All right, so we got a bag here. So here's our card. I'm not sure. Brio box is kind of like a fuzzy felt card. That's kind of neat. So it looks like we have this big, almost a laundry sack kind of thing. <laughs> this is weird to say, but this actually smells good. I wonder if there's something scented inside of this. Let's uh, open this up and see what we got. We may move some of this stuff out of the way just so we have room to see everything. Holy cow. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna move this over to the side. Actually, you know what? Let's move this whole box out of the way and we'll take a look at what's in the bag. All right, welcome to the new Brio Box experience. It says they're trying to be eco-conscious with the printing and everything, so that's kind of cool. Looks like there's something you can scan there to get more details. Let's just dig in. I don't see any sort of guide or anything, so I'm just gonna grab stuff and go with it. So let's see what we have here. First up, looks like is this from Lume, a UV sanitizing wand. Kills 99% of germs, viruses, and bacteria. Man, that's kind of good to have right now in the world as it is, so let's see if it's open. Yeah, so we got some paperwork on the top. Looks like a little USB charge cord here. It may not be charged up right out of the box. Okay. So it looks like we have a roll of UV LEDs. Um, pretty straightforward. I wonder, I don't even know if I should turn this on. I'll probably give myself a suntan or something. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna read the instructions and charge it up, but I've seen some similar stuff to this where, especially with gadgets you have, stuff you might take to an airport or you know with you to work or school every day, you're supposed to be able to blast them with these things just by kind of like slowly waving it over. And that UV light's supposed to kill off those germs versus like having to use cleaning spray or sanitizing wipes or that sort of thing. So that is a cool gadget to have. Neat first item. Second item here, this is actually a brand I'm familiar with because we've had some of their lanterns in some of our other like survival boxes and things like that. So this is Lucy, uh, their string solar lights. I'm actually not familiar with these even though I've been familiar with the lamp. So it says, inside the expandable unit, Lucy Solar String Lights pack 100 lumens into 10 nodes on an 18 foot cord. So kind of like outdoor party lights, but they're rechargeable. It says they last up to 20 hours in a charge. You can charge via solar. It looks like it has a solar panel on the top. Let's pop this open and take a look at what this thing looks like inside. All right, I always like their packaging. They've got these little cloth handles, just kind of a nice touch. Okay, well, that's a little bit bigger than I thought for some reason. So it looks like we have this kind of a hockey puck thing. It's got a nice solar panel on top there. Looks like maybe some other little light there. We'll have to go through and look at the manual later on when we check this out. But let's see, do we twist it? Yeah. Okay, so it kind of popped open, it's spring-loaded, and you have this little, looks like a like a braided nylon cord. Okay, here's the end of it right here. And it looks like you just kind of unwind as you want to get these out and put them up. So here's a closer look at one of the lights themselves. It looks like it's a little LED. I wonder if these are waterproof or anything. I probably need to read deeper on that. But looks like there's different ways to charge. You know what, just for the sake of the video here, let's see. Up, oh, so there's a little light that comes on on top there. Up, oh, there's a light, that's actually really cool. Got a nice glow to them. Kind of like a makeshift party light that's really easy to like roll up and cinch up and throw up in a, in a hurry. You know, we've got a camper and these would be absolutely perfect for that or even on the back patio just in a pinch. I like the, 
these seem really well constructed. They'll have a really nice material on it. Don't seem like sometimes you get these and they have a really thin wire, just something that only lasts a few uses, but it seems like this thing could probably take some abuse. So love it that they're solar rechargeable. So I know it's just tapping through this power switch. It looks like there's different brightness modes for these. Um, so you got that little lamp on top, a low glow, medium glow, high glow. That's a really cool product. So that's a win. Solar string lights from Lucy. And you just twist to put them back up. Pretty cool. Not bad so far, Brio box. All right, next up, let's go with this big box here at the corner because this looks cool. Farm culture hydroponics, some sort of scan thing here. Not a lot of details on the outside of the box here. It looks like what we may have is a little kind of home garden thing. Let's open this up and look. All right, so I'm gonna move this box out of the way here just so we can get a closer look. All right, so look at this thing. It looks like it is a little, I'm guessing that's a UV lamp here on the top. Can you see that? And it has a small pot down here as well that looks like it has some measuring stuff there and everything. It looks like what this may be is a little automated system where you put whatever seeds you want in here. So there's some touch sensitive controls right there. It looks like there's a fan option. Um, I guess probably different brightness settings for different things. So you probably put water in this and then just set it to go. I'm not really sure what the fan would do. That's kind of fun. I haven't seen that in one of these things before, but that is a unique product. Again, some of this stuff, they're really cool gadgets and everything, but stuff you probably wouldn't set out to get for yourself. So this would be a lot of fun. My wife um, and my daughter are super into growing plants and herbs and that sort of thing. So I'm sure this will get set up the second I'm done finishing this video. Now that's a really neat little product. So farm culture hydroponics thing. We're gonna set that over to the side. Pretty interesting. I'm still wondering what smells so good in this thing. I swear it's got a good scent to it. Maybe it's the bag itself. All right, now I'm gonna jump into this herb thing here since we just did the hydroponic lamp. So it looks like this is maybe like a little herb garden or some sort of growing kit. It looks like we have some seed mixes here. Let's see, mescaline rosemary. I think one just fell out when I picked it up here. Italian basil. Let's see if there's more details in the bag. So this water well irrigates your fresh herbs, allowing the stems to draw fresh water and supply the rest of the plant with life. Okay, it looks like something, it says it fits neatly in the refrigerator door, disassembles for cleaning. It looks like what we have is a neat uh, herb storage system that keeps your herbs nice and fresh. These seeds actually go with that farm culture hydroponic uh, lamp. I guess we have some seeds here where you can grow that stuff. So you can grow that with your Brio Box kit and then you can store them in your fridge and have herbs for whenever you cook. And that's, that's a really cool product. I see something else tucked away in here too. This says it is a pocket atomizer so it's specifically designed to spray fragrances. Uh, so that's kind of a cool product. Again, that'll probably end up with my wife, something to have in her purse to keep things fresh. Pretty cool little thing there. So the Prepara Herb Saver and the Traveler Pocket Itemizer. Pretty interesting products to have. And I'm gonna put these seed packets over here with my garden kit. Looks like this thing is recommended by a lot of different organizations. So that's always cool to see. And I'm gonna save, this thing looks super interesting. So I'm gonna save that for last to look at here. So how many products have we done so far? Let's see, UV one, that's one, two, three, four, five, five different things so far. So this is number six. We have a uh, Casalink smart plug. As you know, if you followed our channel for a long time, we're all into some smart home stuff. Our home is all hooked up with things, so you can never go wrong with a good smart plug. Looks like you can control this with Wi-Fi or your voice. So I wonder if it pairs with some voice assistants and everything. Yep, here we go. So it works with Google Assistant, if then then that, and Alexa. Uh, so probably really easy to set up. You know what, I think, Let's look at this. There's actually two of these in here. That's awesome. If you've never used a smart plug before, I tell you what they're awesome for is, especially during Christmas or the holiday season, if you have Christmas lights, if you have a Christmas tree or any sort of like holiday decoration you want to come on at a certain time or turn off at a certain time, or even just like a lamp in your house that you want a program to turn on, these are awesome for that. So a great little item to have in here that, um, again, it's like getting a really cool birthday gift and something that you'll actually use. So from Castlelink, two smart plugs, that's a win. All right, so let's check out the last item here in our spring 2022 Brio box. We have the Cubanote Home Edition. Apparently it's a value pack. Uh, so it looks like we have, not really sure what this does to be honest. It looks like it prints images and notes and there's no ink or anything. I think this might be like a sticky note printer. It looks like it's not just stuff you'd scribble down, but actually patterns and everything. It's a tiny little printer, I guess. Let's open this up. This looks really cool. Nice to see something I actually haven't heard of before. So let's take a look inside of this. All right, so we've got a user manual right off the bat. This is something I kind of wish we could set up as part of the unboxing here, but that'd probably take forever. But look at this thing. It's just this cute little printer here. Um, looks like we have power supply, 
I'm guessing these are different notepads and everything, but it looks like you just pop this open. It's got a big roll of paper on there, and I guess it's like um, maybe a thermal printer that pops out different notes that you can use for various things. Uh, I may have misspoke earlier. I don't think they're sticky notes. It may just be regular notes, but if you look at their packaging and everything, it looks like all sorts of little doodles, and you actually can pair it with an app I saw on the box. That's going to be a ton of fun to play around with. Very cool little product. The Cuba Note. My kids are going to absolutely love that. So there you go. That's our first Brio box, the Spring 22 edition. Um, made kind of a mess here because there's so much stuff, but we have this herb saver system. We have this little fragrance atomizer. We have two smart plugs. We have this hydroponic growing system over here with a lamp and a little um, fan and all sorts of stuff to help you, I guess, grow those herbs. We have all these seed packets. We have that UV sanitizing wand. We have this awesome string light set from Lucy. I think that covers it. That's a whole lot of stuff for one little box. Now again, these boxes start at $159 if you just want to jump in for one season or you can get the whole year for a little bit of a discount. Make sure you use the link on the screen so you can help support the channel. But this is a pretty cool subscription here. A lot of fun to have, especially if you're into more of the gadget side of things or just different types of home goods and stuff. It's a little bit of a break from the different stuff I've covered on this channel, which is all survival gear and knives and adventure stuff and everything. Kind of a different twist with this, but this is a lot of fun. My family is going to have an absolute blast with this stuff. My wife's going to be very happy when she sees what came in this box. Really, really cool stuff. So that's it for this video. Hey, thanks for watching this. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment so you can enter that awesome contest and giveaway. When we hit 15,000 subscribers, we're going to give away some cool stuff. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.